Hi, this is Vince Briel, and this is a demonstration of the new Altair 8800 Micro prototype. I uh, wanted to give you guys a visual of what is uh, going on thus far. The Micro is a miniaturized version of the Altair 8800 uh, using emulation for the processor and panel section, I'm able to reduce the chip count to uh, approximately nine chips. The uh, emulation also is capable of holding a full terminal section uh, using the pocket terminal and 32K of RAM for program storage and also SanDisk uh, card slot for uh, program load and store. Right now I have not emulated that the, that feature. Uh, I'll be doing that later. Right now I've been getting the uh, CPU section working and on power up I have it designed to automatically uh, load basic into memory from the terminal into the uh, CPU. Uh, right now I have it set up at 9600 baud. I'll turn it on so you can see. Uh, what it's doing right now is uh, uploading basic. I have 8K going in there. 4K will also be available depending on how the front panel switches are on power up. As you can see it shows that basic has been transmitted and is loaded into memory. At this stage it's just like an actual Altair except a lot smaller. You can actually step single step through. Uh, right now I have debug mode on so that you can actually see all the registers and memory location, stack pointer and stack pointer value. Uh, and I use that to help uh, debug the CPU section and get it going. And at this stage I'll show you when it's in full run mode that uh, comes up asking the memory size which you can enter in your memory size if you want or default is going to check the memory uh, to see how much memory it has available to use. We'll press enter terminal width. At this point you can enter 80 if you like or just hit enter for the default and then uh, basic asks you if you want uh, sine cosine all the trig functions and we'll say yes and with basic in RAM it gives you uh, out of 32k you still have 26 244 bytes free. Uh, this is the 8k version revision 4.0 and I'll type in a small program The Altair Basic did not have backspace capability, but like the Replica 1, it used underscore to do a virtual backspace. So if I were to type and make a mistake and wanted that to be an L, I would hit underscore and that would virtually backspace it back before the P. At that point I could type in the rest of my word. So if I list it, then it shows it properly. And running the program, as you can see, it does function. I, I still have some work to do on the uh, status LEDs uh, to make them show properly and a little bit of a speed enhancement. Right now it's not running at full speed, but, but pretty close. So uh, still debugging, checking all the um, functions of basic but at this time uh, it appears that uh, all the uh, features of basic are functional so and this uh, ends our demonstration <laughs>